Hello, welcome to this tutorial. We're gonna expose the internal OpenShift registry so that we can interact with it and then push and pull images into our individual project space. For a production deployment or for something larger than like a dev cluster, um, you probably wanna look at an external registry, something like Nexus, um, Docker Trusted Registry, Artifactory, a cloud-based registry, something like that, um, that has more advanced features. In this case, we just wanna be able to push images into our project space and deploy those images and uh, monitor the tags of those images through the image streams. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and set that up now. All right, so um, let's see. So the first thing is, uh, let's get into our project space. Oh, so yeah, you see the certs here. Uh, we're gonna load uh, my certificate into TLS so that we can um, authenticate into the cluster using TLS. So I've pre-generated my uh, cert and key, and I'll be using those um, and in a moment <clears throat> to set up the registry for TLS. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to edit the um, I'm going to edit the image registry operator. <clears throat> and we'll look for default. You see default right here, uh, default route, so that's false. We'll change that to true. And then underneath the spec, uh, well, let me show you this first. So once, if I just enable it to be true, I do OC get route, and we'll see uh, nothing there. So because I'm not in this namespace project, project uh, OpenShift image registry, OC get route, and we'll see this really long uh, name here. Um, nothing wrong with this, uh, it's just that if we wanted to push anything into our internal registry, then this would be the, um, the domain. So we, our packages would look something like um, this. And then your project space, and then uh, package or image, and then tag. Right, so I don't think anybody really wants to remember that. So we're gonna create, um, using our TLS keys, we're gonna create a smaller route. All right, so let's go back and edit our registry uh, operator someplace. Where did I see that? There it is. And then uh, underneath spec, I'm gonna come down here to roll out and we'll just add a new entry. Let's say routes. Uh, name. Public route, and then host name. And here's my <clears throat> registry dot red cloud dot land, and I'm going to create a secret for it, and it'll be secret name uh, public TLS no, public uh, route TLS. There we go. Okay, so now let's go ahead and. Uh, do OC get route, and we should see eventually, uh, we'll see the other route pop in unless I did a typo on that route. Routes, mm -hmm -hmm. no, uh, maybe because the key isn't there yet. OC get route. All right, let's add the SSL key. Uh, OC create secret. Um, TLS public route TLS shift image registry cert equals cloud dot land cert and our key equals registry dot cloud dot land key OC get route. There we go. All right, so now we can see our, our route popped up. The nice thing about storing it in the operator too is if I accidentally deleted it, it'll come right back. Blame it all right there. All right, so uh, yeah, good thing. Okay, now um, now we have that, and we've got our say our route configured. Uh, the next thing we need to do is uh, we can assign privileges uh, to our uh, individual namespaces or to the cluster at large. So uh, let's create a namespace. Let's we'll see OC uh, new project um, bridge test. 
All right, and I, I am the uh, admin right now. And if we go to our project space here, um, what do I call it? Bridge test at the bottom. All right, so uh, the admin is the one who created it, so my user won't actually have any uh, any privileges to it. But let's go ahead and add a policy uh, so that I can have um, uh, either a user, um, a group, or a uh, service accounts associated to uh, the cluster as the uh, registry editor. So if we just take a look at um, user management, you know, we'll go to roles, registry, you'll see there's already this registry editor here. And then under role bindings, there aren't anything listed. Uh, so we could just say uh, OC um, policy add role to well let's take a look at what groups I have here. Let's see you get groups. We'll just add it to our uh, yeah, let's add it to our production uh, group here. So let's say OC uh, policy add role to group registry editor and then our group name there we go so under rule bindings now we've got our group OC production uh, okay so let's go ahead and pull down a package uh, clear uh, docker images oops docker images it should darn it docker images there we go. There's nothing in there, so we'll do Docker pull um, nginx. We're not going to deploy it. I just want to pull down a small package. Okay, so Docker images great so let's tag this for our registry docker tag that to registry dot red cloud dot land and then I need our project space so we're going to put it in reg test and then nginx and then my tag c001 okay and then docker login user uh, to our domain there and let me grab my token off screen here. Copy and I'll log in. Paste. Dun, dun, dun. Incorrect username or phone number. Oh. There we go. formatting matters okay clear all right so uh, let's see docker images and now we should be able to push our package here and our tag name into yep into our namespace and if we go down to image streams <clears throat> we'll look at our reg test package we'll see that here's the nginx uh, image with our tag 001 and if we pushed uh, another one, see Docker images, and we'll say Docker tag, and it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna call it something similar. So copy, let's say two Docker push this, and then we'll have another tag. Right there, so we have two tags. And if I want to delete a tag, you know, OC delete. There we go. 
So I don't need the full name here. So we can see that 002 is dropped off. And we could, uh, let's push it back. And it's back. All right, so we can interact with uh, our registry. Uh, so that's pretty good. And um, I will also post this information on GitHub. You'll see that link down below so you can be able to enable it. Play around with it, see if it's going to work for your dev test environment. Please like, subscribe, and share the video. Thanks a lot. Bye.